Hello, welcome to Everything Academy. Uh, this is another session on combination. Um, we are discussing combination now. This is video lecture number 14. I hope you have already watched part 1, part 2, part 13 before watching part 14. And uh, now, in last class, we have discussed about the number of squares that can be formed in a grid of n cross n. Today, we will discuss because I know you are. It is in your mind that uh, if n is not equal to n, that is number of horizontal columns and number of vertical columns are not same, then what would happen? If grid is not like n into n, if grid is n into n, then what would happen? So in such case, what to do? How we can calculate the number of squares? So to know this, I have an idea. I have another trick in which you can excel this idea that if number of squares are uh, can uh, if num grid number of vertical columns and number of horizontal columns are not same in this case how you can calculate the number of squares so the number of squares in a grid of grid of m cross n is given by given by m cross n is given by sigma summation sigma is summation r is equal to 1 to n m plus 1 minus r m plus 1 minus r where r is 1 to n remember here n is less than m out of m and n n is less than m and therefore this formula can be applied to find number of squares in a grid of m cross n how to use this formula this is very important to know to know the formula is one thing to apply the formula is a different thing so how we can use this formula that let me explain. So here let us consider a question and then we will use this. Consider a question and question is this is a trick point you must note down question is how many squares if a, a set of five vertical lines vertical equidistant vertical lines lines are intersected by set of four vertical lines four vertical lines or three vertical lines it will be easier three vertical lines then how many parallelogram how many squares will form how many squares will form a squares will be formed if distance between two consecutive horizontal lines distance between two consecutive horizontal lines lines are same as are same as distance between distance between two consecutive two consecutive vertical lines The number of grids are always one less than the number of lines. If five vertical lines are intersected, these are the five lines. One, two, three, four, five. Five lines are there and they are intersected by four lines. One, two, three and this is four. So four lines are horizontal and 5 vertical lines are intersected by 4 
So the grid will be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the grid of 4 into 3 or 3 into 4. 3 into 4. Always, n is considered to be lesser one. So what will be the value of n here? n will be 3. Here n is 3 and m is considered to be 4. I have given this formula for n is less than m. So grid would be 3 into 4. If lines are 5, then block will be 4. If lines are 4, 3, 3 vertical lines, I have here made for 4 vertical lines. So just change this question. Earlier I have used this 4 vertical lines. So this would be 4 vertical lines, then grid will be 3. 3 block box will be made. So the grid is 3 into 4, in which a smaller one can be taken as n and bigger one can be taken as m. Now the number of squares we have to calculate. So therefore the number of squares solution. The number of squares will be given by sigma m is what? m is 4 plus 1 5 5 minus r is 1. Right? 5 minus 1. And n is what? n is 3. So 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 minus 1. 5 minus 1. 4 minus 1. If I put r is equal to 2, then what will happen? Sigma means summation. This will be, if I put then 5 minus 2 into 4 minus 2. Again if I put 3, then what will happen? 5 minus 3 into 4 minus 3, right? We have to put the value of r from 1 to n. n is 3, so we have to put value of r is equal to 1 to 3. That is r is equal to 1, r is equal to 2 and r is equal to 3. Three possible values are there and therefore I have put here r is equal to 1 r is equal to 2 and r is equal to 3. I hope you got it. Right now. Value of r varies from 1 to n. And n is 1 who is a small out of the 2. So out of 4 and 3, 3 is smaller. So n will be 3. Value of r can vary from 1 to 3. So 3 cases can be for a friend. 1, 2 and 3. So in these three cases, what will come here? 5 minus 1 is 4. 3, 4 minus 1 is 3. 4 into 3. Here 3 into 2. And here it will be 2 into 1. So the total number of this would come 4, 3 is 12. Plus 3, 2 is 6. Plus 2, 1 is 2. So 12 plus 6, 18. Plus 2, 20 squares are there and that will be answer of this question. Let me see whether this 20 squares are there. Do you want to count it physically and manually? Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is what 12 comes from here. Taking one at a time, 12 such squares will be framed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Putting r is equal to 1, 12 such squares will form. Putting r is equal to 2, that is 2 squares can be taken together to make it 1. So in that case, 6 such squares are formed. Let me write this, what are those 6 squares? See, 1, right, taking 2 at a time, then 2, right, then 3, then this, these are 4, then 5, and then this one is 6. So 6 such a square, so when put r is equal to 2. And now, when put r is equal to 3, that is taking 3 at a time. So 3 a square at a time. 1, right? 3 at a time. This one, isn't it? And another one is this. So this is the 2, taking 3 at a time. So 2 squares taking r is equal to 3. So
So when when r is equal to 1, 12 squares, r is equal to 2, 6 square, r is equal to 3, then 2 squares, and total number of squares are 20. <coughs> that can be calculated by using the formula as well as manually what I have calculated. Taking 1 at a time, taking 2 at a time, taking 3 at a time. So this formula will be very very helpful. Just try to understand this. What is the formula if it is m cross n where one of them always will be lesser than other. Otherwise if both of them are equal then we can apply the previous formula. But because both of them are not equal that is why we have to use this formula. Then n is smaller than m I have taken. Wherever it is a vertical or horizontal the smaller one you may take m and the bigger one you may take m. Now use this formula since n is equal to 3 and value of r starts from 1 to n so there will be 3 cases either r is equal to 1 or r is equal to 2 or r is equal to 3. So in that case the value of r can be taken in this way r is equal to 1, r is equal to 2 or r is equal to 3. So three such cases will form putting r is equal to 1, r is equal to 2, r is equal to 3. This type of relationship will come and therefore 20 squares will form. Okay, I hope you got it. So this is also one of the tricks in which you can calculate the number of squares when number of vertical blocks are uh, in horizontal vertical blocks are not equal to number of horizontal blocks. One more point here. Number of rectangles. To find number of rectangles in a grid of m cross n, it is sigma. The number of rectangles, rectangles in a grid of grid of n cross m is sigma n cube. Sigma n cube is what? n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square. If there is n vertical and whole n horizontal grids are there, right? This is a type here. What I made earlier? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the 5 lines. 2, 4, 6 lines. 1, 